Here we are back with our Launch X431 Pro 5 scanner. And I'm in the engine module. I already went in that because it does take a little bit to get in there, which is 01 engine electronics. I'm going to go to read data stream. The first thing we're going to do is go into measuring block 021. And although this is actually not your fuel timing one, this is where you want to go to kind of decipher your temperature of your fuel. So this is the fuel temperature one right here, top one. So we are at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Now our little chart sometimes goes in Celsius, sometimes goes in Fahrenheit. Oh, sorry, I hit the wrong button. We can change it to Celsius right there. So 25 degrees Celsius or right about 78, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's going to be helpful here later on. So we're going to go into data stream. I'm going to hit 000, zero, zero just like on your Ross Tech or your uh, whatever other scanner you may be using. It's probably going to be the same channel. So, top number. This is actually your engine RPM. Now, obviously, we're not idling at 43 RPM. What that is, is that is a range. So, at the beginning of the range is 42, which represents 870 RPM. And then the top end of that range would be 45, which would measure about 950 RPM. So, it's a little hard to decipher. That is why we went in and looked at, a second ago, our fuel temperature, because the second one up from the bottom, should be that one there, is your actual fuel temperature. Now it's the same deal, it's a range. That's not a degree of any sort. So the bottom end of that would be 91 degree, or 91 would be the number you would see at the bottom end, and would be 20 degrees Celsius. And then the top end of that, would be 201 which would be 80 degrees Celsius so you'd have to decipher that so it's easier just to go into that group 21 real quick check it I know now that I'm right around 80 78 to 80 degrees it's, it has been running since we've been in there so let's say we're at 79 uh, most likely 79 80 now you want to go back up and this one here is the next one you want to look at and that is going to be your start of injection. So, we're at 104. And I can tell you right now that that is going to be advanced, most likely off the charts. So, I'm going to have to go ahead and retard the timing a little bit and see if we can get that number down. And you'll take your temperature. So, my temperature was 80 degrees. Take that temperature and then whatever this number is and it'll meet on the chart. Now that chart's available. Uh, I don't have it printed out or I'd show you a picture of it real quick. I might be able to show a link of it or copy it and paste it to my to my video here. I'll try to cut it in. Uh, that link is available, it's out there. Just type in ALHTDI timing chart and you'll see it. It's basically a bunch of lines slanted on a graph that tell you where you should fall on an XY axis. But I can tell you right now, 104, 105, 102, I'm floating that right there. That is off the chart to the advanced side. So I'm going to have to bring that down in. I think your range can be anywhere from 12 to 75 on that. And obviously I'm way over that. So I'm going to have to take my fuel temperature and my uh, fuel quantity, or start, I'm sorry, fuel start of injection, and bring that into adjustment to get it in range on the chart where it should be uh, again if you need to know need me to show anything else on this scanner please feel free to ask or comment and I will try to do what I can to show you what it can and cannot do uh, as always please like share and subscribe uh, thank you very much